Here's what you'll need to make a ringtail lemur. Sculpey 3 Elephant Gray, Vanilla Cream, Gold and Black, Sculpey Clay Tool Variety Set, a basic knife for sectioning clay, a baking pan, baking thermometer, timer, and oven glove. From Vanilla Cream, make a thick teardrop shape. From Elephant Gray, make a flat teardrop shape. Wrap the gray clay around the cream clay and smooth down the edges. From gray, make back feet by cutting a disc of clay in half. Make long club shapes for the front legs. Position the two back feet at the base of the body. Place the front legs starting at the top of the body and posing the paws around the belly. For the head, make a cream ball and a flat gray disc. Wrap the gray disc around the cream ball and roll it together to smooth it down. Position the head at the top of the body so some of the gray shows at the top of the head. Now make two little cream wedges for the ears. Place a flat gray triangle in the middle of each ear. Poke in ear canals with the tip of a blunt point tool. Make two flat teardrop shapes from the black for the eye area. Make a thick black wedge for the nose. Poke a hole in each eye area with the blunt point tool. Fill each hole with a tiny ball of gold clay. Using the blunt point tool, poke a hole in the center of each gold eye. Using the scoop shape tool, push a mouth into the bottom of the nose piece. Using the tip of the blunt point tool, poke in two nostrils. For the tail, now make a log of each black and vanilla cream. Section each log into equal pieces. Make a tail, alternating the black and cream pieces. Push the pieces together to bond them. Roll the tail until it's smooth and taper the pointed end of the tail. Trim as needed, then flatten the end of the tail so it will connect with the body. Push the flat end of the tail into the back of the body. Pose the tail as desired. Bake at 275 degrees for 30 minutes, then allow to cool completely before handling.